The early exit was a massive blow to a game that has been in a state of decline for some time now. No one is feeling the pain more than the team itself. It's uh, spilled milk, you know, it's already done, but uh, we feel hurt, you know, we feel that uh, we did not justify ourselves, we did not do ourselves any good cause. You know, when we look at uh, precisely a team like Netherlands qualifying and going through and uh, we are seeing the kind of cricket they are playing now, we are far much better. If we bring our A game, we are far much better. We should be at that tournament. The reality though is that they are back home trying to recover. Some analysts say they saw the embarrassment coming given the turmoil that rocked the camp just weeks to the tournament. Players had not been paid for months, the league was not running so there was no game time to prepare and the cricket union was not sure it could raise enough money to take the team to Bangladesh. However, they say it's the players that should take the fall. We keep blaming management and structures within Zimbabwe cricket. What were the players and management staff doing for the last three months while they were fighting with Zimbabwe cricket on payments and whatever? Were you guys within yourselves as fit as you should have been, on top of your game as bowlers and on top of your game as batsmen? Only a few players like Captain Brendan Taylor put in time doing individual training during the impasse. But this is a team sport and even Zimbabwe's talisman could not carry the team by himself. The technical team is not accepting administrative wrangles as a reason for the poor showing. Looking for excuses is not the uh, best way to go forward. So what next for a game that once earned Zimbabwe global plaudits but now has bruised national ego? Analysts say the domestic league where players get more game time week in, week out against top local opposition is key. It costs about $800,000 a year to keep a franchise up and running. There are five of them in the domestic league, so clearly it will require deep pockets to keep the league going. Whether or not Zimbabwe cricket, which is already in debt, running up to millions, can carry that burden is doubtful. Farai Mokutria, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.